I'm Linda Melvin and we're going to do session number two. In session number one we did the pouring and we used the Delusion paints and we used the Dr. P.H. Martin radiant colors and we got this minus all of the work that's already been done on because I went ahead and I put all of the rice papers and the gauze on there. So I came in, I took the gauze that I used from before and placed it in different spots. And if you look at it, you can see all kinds of different texture in the background. But in order for me to be able to work on this today and be able to enhance it so you see what you can do with these paintings, I went ahead and did two others. This one is a finished piece. These colors are all the same as the colors that we used in this one, but as you can see, there is no way you can exactly reproduce it because these colors are on their own. So this morning, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how we attach these. So I attach the rice papers and the gauze with matte medium. And you need to use an old brush to do this and water. I'm going to just take it out of here because I don't have much to do today. Believe it or not, this is what we had last week. All of the colors, and you can see I've already put all of this down, put these back down. So I look at it, and I know again where my heart is. My heart is right here in the center. So we're going to start to enhance it. And once you start, you know, you say, gee, I don't know where I'm going to go. But once you begin, your eye starts to move. And what we really want to do is we want to make the eye move. So, I'm going to be using purple, ultramarine blue and purple, and I always use Winsor Newton colors. I like Winsor Newton, they just are uh, my favorites. And also, I'm going to be using turquoise. So I'm going to be coming in and I'm going to pick places where I think it needs to be enhanced. Bringing out. I better put this on the other side or I'm not going to get into the water. But beside using all of the Winsor Newton colors and bringing all of this out, I'm going to be using some other things too, which are amazingly exciting. Once you get started with these, you're going to say, wow, I've got to go get some of this stuff. So I start out and I do this. And then at one point, I'm going to come in. And please don't put these on your palette. These are golden interference colors. I have here green, violet, and I believe blue. So put them on a normal palette. These interfere with the colors and they're what give, if you look over there, they're what give the piece some fun. They twinkle and as you walk past them, they change the color that is beneath them and on top of them. But there is another way we can do this also. Let's say you didn't want to buy all these tubes just to be able to use here. And you also do oils. Then you come in and you use these powders. They're also interference colors. And for each medium that you use, you get the watercolor medium like for this one or a medium for oil. So I pour a little of this out. Now this is a lighter color, and I'm going to show you what I'm working on here. And you want to be careful, you don't want to breathe this in because it's pretty toxic if it gets in your lungs. So I just come in, get some of the medium, come into here, and look at that great color. It's a purple gold. But when you come over here, and you put it on, it twinkles. I love to twinkle. There is just nothing like it to make your eye move and have fun. But with these, you can come in just like with watercolors and you can move them. When they dry, they completely change and they turn to the color you want to use. Another way you can make things twinkle is through an iridescent medium, which you can use the iridescent medium with these interference colors and it just brings it up that much more. So let's pour some of that out so you can see. And I'll warn you, wipe your lids off. Don't close them up without wiping your lids off. Because if you don't, you won't get it open the next time. So let's put this in another area. Let's bring the eye up here. And we could even come, remember when we put that other little area out there? We can come here. Now I'm not going to tell you this comes fast. 
because doing the other one, it took me almost four hours to enhance it. But that's four hours of amazing fun that you can do. You go back and forth using the different colors that you want. And if you need to, you can even introduce other colors. So I go back and forth working with my palette. I love purple. Do you see how I'm coming around? Now, look at that starburst up here. I'm going to come in here first, and I'm going to darken it. Walking my paint out. All of us that do watercolor no we walking out is so important but i'm going to come in with this iridescent this is going to be so look at those little starbursts and i just bring them in and luckily how fortunate is this we can come in and use one of those great little lines from our gauze which is even better yet let's go over here too Let's put in a little, let's say we put it in and it wasn't wet. Would that bother us? No, because all we're going to do is come back in and walk it out because this is a watercolor medium. But in order to give some excitement, I'm going to come in with very dark purple here. And I'm going to let it bleed and come out into this area. Now look at it bleed. Oh, there's just nothing like it. Then on this one, you can see. So you want to say, gee, do I want to do it like that? Maybe not. Maybe I want to come in with an interference color to give some emphasis. Now, after this dries, we'll come back again. But I want to be able to show you exactly how I come about doing all this. So we're going to come in with these, and we're going to see how it works. Then I'm going to come back in. And I'm going to, let's say on this side, I'm going to come this way. And over here. Now we're coming into the rice papers, which is really nice. We've got the texture that we want. But we've got these rice papers. Now look how the rice papers take up. They make such a difference. And here we have bringing the eye back in. Down here we have more of these. We can do this same thing, which will do what? It'll keep the eye moving from here to here to over to here. Now let's come in and do something under here. Turquoise. Don't you just love turquoise? I have a color of turquoise that I really like, and it's called Amazonite. It's a great green. It used to be that I loved the uh, Rembrandt bluish green. It was my favorite color. It isn't sold anymore. So if you take this Amazonite along with marine blue, it gives that exact same color. Now, we're coming around this right here, but look at all the texture we've created here. So now, and I want to put a little bit more emphasis here. So I'm going to come in with that color again. And I'm going to pull it out. But when I come, look at when I come into the rice papers, what happens? And we'll come around here. So I like to take um, this green that I have, this turquoise, and I put a little purple with it. Oh my gosh, it is the most gorgeous color. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to come around where all these little tendrils are coming out from the rice and make these things what are important. But as you do it and you look at it, and even before I start, I take it in the house, I sit it up, I look at it for days, trying to figure out what I think might work. Then I come out and start to work. But it doesn't mean that maybe what I've already looked at in there and thought, oh, I, I think this is what I wanna do isn't gonna be what I'm gonna do. Now here is an interference color. I want you to look at, you can't tell right now because it's wet. Once it dries, it just glistens. And when you go by it, all of a sudden you go, oh, it's moving because it kind of looks like it's moving. You know how when you 
um, go to an art gallery and there is a, a person and they say, oh my gosh, their eyes are watching me. That's a lot like this. So this is just a little help to show you what I do with my paintings when I get done. This is one of the ways that I do things. And in the upcoming lessons, I'm going to be showing you a lot of other pieces. I hope this brightened your day. See you at the next lesson. Bye-bye.